I'm back with another one. This video is going to be super brief. I have a MongoDB Atlas database here and I've created a cluster named cluster zero. And I'm trying to connect this database to my application hosted on the local server. So in order to do that, I create an index.js file and I have imported this mongoose package. And using that mongoose package, I call this connect function and the connect function takes a parameter as DB and this DB parameter contains the Mongo URI and which is located in my keys.js file. So in this keys.js, I've exported that Mongo URI with my username and password to the MongoDB cluster. And in this index.js file, if the connection is successful, then I console log app running on port 3000 in this case. And then if there's any error, I console log that and then print any errors that has occurred. And in this case, the error is clearly Mongo API error. URI must include hostname, domain name, and TLD. And also inside this index.js file, I've called this create server function, which I have written down here, which basically creates a server using Express. This code does not contain any errors that I can see, and same with the index.js file, there should not be any, be any errors. And in the keys, I've provided all the credentials that's required. And just to confirm that my username that I provided here and the password provided here is the same username and password that I have for the user in this database. I'm still getting this Mongo API error even after doing that. So in order to fix this, I tried removing these special characters from my password. So before I had some special characters in the password, now I modified it to just as testing one, two, three, four, and I saved that file. And I changed my password in the MongoDB database as well. So if I go to database access and I edit the user, and I'll just provide the same password that I provided in that in the in that keys.js file. So that was testing one, two, three, four. And let's save that. So once I did that, and if I try to run my server again. So now you can see that the server is actually running on port 3000 because if there was any errors, we should have gotten this error and then any errors that has occurred should have actually been printed in the terminal. And all this is just a webpack bundle, but the we do not see any errors. And if I try to reload the application, it should work. So the application is loaded. It is now connected to the database. So the solution to this problem was to not have any special characters in this password field in the MongoDB cluster. And for development purpose, this password is not bad. Uh, but in production, of course, you do not want the password as simple as testing one, two, three, four. You want the password to be as complex as possible. So as I go on to work with this application and when I finally work it in production, I'll make another video about how to handle this kind of situation. But for the development purpose, the database is connected after removing any special characters in my password field. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.